This video talks about a specific drug called ergonavine. Now, ergonavine is an ergot alkaloid, and I will be talking about the mechanism of action, clinical use, toxicity, followed by an example. Now, ergonavine works in alpha adrenergic receptors, dopamine receptors, and serotonin receptors, and it has an agonistic activity or a stimulant activity on all these three different receptors. Now, it also exerts its stimulant effects on the uterus and it has a powerful stimulant effect on the uterus. When we do talk about clinical use, we can relate how the mechanism of action is directly related to the cl clinical use that we have here. Ergonavine is used to diagnose Prince metal angina. And it makes sense because Prince metal angina is due to vasospasm of the cardiac blood vessels, and vasospasm can be caused due to alpha adrenergic agonism and serotonin agonism. So that's how it makes sense that it can be used to diagnose Prince metal angina. But that is not all. There is another clinical use of ergonavine, and that is it causes vasoconstriction of the blood vessels of the uterus, and it facilitates placental de delivery. And by vasoconstricting the blood vessels during placental de delivery, it causes blood, less blood loss. Now the reason um, it causes vasoconstriction is the same reason that is used in, in the fact that it is used to diagnose Prince metal angina, and that's the fact that we have serotonin, that there is more serotonin and alpha adrenergic receptors in the system. Let's talk about toxicity now. Now some of the Non-specific toxicity of ergonavine include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain. Abdominal pain can be caused due to vasoconstriction, diarrhea, headache, dizziness, tinnitus, chest pain can be caused due to vasoconstriction of the blood vessels due to excess serotonin L and alpha adrenergic receptors. More serotonin though. Palpitations for the same reasons. Bradycardia because not enough blood is coming to the heart because of all the vasoconstriction of the blood vessels and transient hypertension due to serotonin in our system and other cardiac arrhythmia, dyspnea, rashes and finally shock depending on the severity of the toxicity. Now that's ergonavine toxicity. Now let's, quick let's take a quick example and see how it relates to the question. Now in this question there is a 65 year old Caucasian male who has nocturnal episodes of chest pain found to be accompanied by transient ST segment elevation in leads V1 to V4 on 24-hour ECG monitoring. So when we read the question, the first thought in our head should be MI. There are other things that can cause ST segment elevation. For example, um, Prince metal angina causes ST segment elevation. So we ha also have to take that into account. Now, his past medical history is significant for migraine headaches. Now, migraine headaches and his uh, coronary vasospasm really has no, no, um, no, no correlation. I think that was thrown in there to make the, make the connection between the drugs that is used in migraine headaches. For example, sumatriptan can cause similar kind of effects in the heart. It can cause transient... Um, transient hypertension, it can cause coronary vasospasm. So I think this is an outlier. This is something that was thrown in to make you get confused. That's why I chose this particular question. So even though this person has migraine headache, this has nothing to do with the question itself. The question says he has ST segment elevation and elevations in the leads V1 to V4, which can be caused uh, due to an MI or it can be also caused due to um, um, Prince metal angina. Now let's read the question, the real question, very carefully. It says this patient's chest pain would be most likely to be provoked by, let's say one of the options is morphine, the next is ergonavine, and let's say, let's add one. Let's add our sumatriptan here. If we did have sumatriptan, we would have chosen sumatriptan because sumatriptan can, has this ST segment elevation as one of the toxicity and sumatriptan is used 
during migraine headaches or tension headaches. So, but in this particular question, so much return was not there. That option was not there. So when this is not an option, we're thinking of morphine or ergonovine. Now, clearly, this is ergonovine because we just talked about how it can cause transient AC segment elevation. Some people could get confused with the fact that it could be morphine, and I can see why, but morphine really does exactly the opposite ergonovine does. Morphine is really a vasodilator instead of a vasoconstrictor, and it is actually used to treat chest pain in MI rather than to provoke it. So when a person is going through an MI to relieve the chest pain, morphine is used. So here, the answer is not morphine, the answer is ergonomy.